I'll show you how to do proper keyword research using ChatGPT. So say you want to blog about the niche, insurance, and you don't have inspiration for possible topics, you can come here to ChatGPT and ask it, uh, give me a list of keywords associated with insurance. Then click here. So we now have a list of keyword ideas to go after and we want to write about the keyword deductible. You can do something like give me LSI keywords for deductible. Hit enter. So since you've decided to write about deductible as it relates to insurance, these are a list of LSI keywords or Latin semantic index keywords you should include throughout your content one way or the other to get a better ranking. Then to get an outline for your actual blog posts, you can exit, give me an outline for a blog post about deductible. Give me an outline for a blog post about deductible. Then hit enter. It's actually writing you an outline or table of content that you will use to flesh out your blog post. And it's awesome. So you can actually go from here and say, uh, expand on the outline and it's actually fleshing out each section of the table of content or outline for your blog post wow this is very impressive. If you notice, it stopped abruptly right here. So you can prompt chat GPT to continue. And it will continue writing from where it stopped. And there you have it. It is now finished writing the entire article or blog post. Now, I will not advise you to just copy and paste this entire article on your blog. You might attract a Google penalty on your blog in the future. So what I'll advise you to do is copy this entire article from ChatGPT, then go to a tool like either Quillbot or write Sonic and rephrase this entire article there. Now, alternatively, you can also use ChatGPT to do the rephrasing. So if you do not have access to those tools I mentioned, that is Quillbot or write Sonic, you can give ChatGPT a command such as rewrite the entire text above in in a conversational style of writing. Rewrite the entire text above in a conversational style of writing and hit enter. And ChatGPT says, sure, here's a revised version of the entire text above in a conversational style of writing. So basically this works just like any other rephrasing tool you are effectively changing each of the words and sentence structures using more uh, personalized pronouns and just generally a sentence structure that doesn't sound robotic. And just like Quillbot and Writesonic, this right here should keep you safe from any possible Google penalties. And actually, you don't even need to come up with uh, the titles or headline for your blog post. You can go ahead and prompt ChatGPT with, give me five click-worthy 
catchy headlines for the blog post. Give me five click-worthy catchy headlines for the blog post and hit enter. And ChatGPT does its magic, giving you five wonderful click-worthy titles or headlines for your blog post. And that's it. That's how to come up with keyword research and keyword ideas. Create an outline for your blog post and write your blog posts. Come up with uh, very good headlines for your blog posts with ChatGPT. Thank you for watching and watch out for my next ChatGPT video. See you on the next one.